Whoa. This is a dramatic entrance. Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're starting my favorite dungeon in Zelda history, the Snow Peak Ruins. And I'm gonna transform into a wolf right away here, because I see a Poe and I intend on getting it. Come on down here. Face me like a man or spirit or whatever. Ow. <laughs> you did a good job, sort of. Not good enough, for I have your soul. Uh, there's two more to collect in this dungeon, as well as two heart pieces to look out for. So, just saying. Oh, and I should also do this, because I'm in the Zora armor. You'll notice that it's weak against fire and ice, as it says here, and it's really weak against fire and ice. So, you're going to want to switch back to that if you're in the Zora armor. I'm going to take a look-see around here, and... Uh, oh, I forgot to mention, uh, like, right, right when this part started, the, uh... The chew that I found in the last part, that one in that that special cave that I thought had absolutely nothing. By the way, this yellow chew produces lantern oil, so if you want lantern oil, you can do that. Um, the, the chew in that cave is known as a rare chew. If you manage to bottle that, and I should, probably should have bottled that, so go back there and go bottle it. <laughs> what'll happen is that it'll refill all of your health and give you an attack boost for as long as it uh, is in effect, or until you take a hit. It's similar to another item, which I don't want to spoil just yet, and I don't think there's anything else in this room. I'm just looking around here to be sure that I have every... It looks like I can climb over that, but I actually can't. Uh, okay, let's just move on here. Oh, and that uh, purple chew that you've seen over there. Do not drink it, like, ever. <laughs> I found out in my research above uh, about that rare chew that it's similar to that um, that soup that soup that uh, Koro had you know the oil salesman back at um, back at the Oron woods I'm gonna read this in uh, her speak you cute little human husband told me you come you want to look at mirror huh my husband found it but it's pretty thing uh but since I get Mirror, I get sick, and then bad monsters appear. So many bad things happen since Mirror. So we lock bedroom on third floor, where it hangs. Uh, wait, I tell you where key is. And she gives you the map! Woohoo! Very nice to have it early in the game. Well, early in the dungeon, excuse me. And I'm pretty sure you know how to read maps by now. I mean, we're pretty far into the game here. And we're looking to go to this room, which is left of here. So, let's do that. Anyway, about that uh, purple chew, it has the chance of recovering one heart, taking away one heart, refilling your hearts completely, or killing you outright. <laughs> so that's why you never ever want to drink purple chew juice, nor do you want to drink that um, nasty soup from Koro. Just saying, but the re refilling or completely killing you is extremely rare. So I guess it's not that much of a worry if you want to try it out. But I, I don't recommend that if you're late into something and you haven't saved or something like that. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> what look bad? Oh, uh, not healthy since Mirror. So I make soup for her. Fish from Zora Village are most nutritious. You tired? Oh, you have some. It give you energy. Ah, sure, why not? <laughs> this soup, um, I don't know. Bottles are kind of full. I don't think I need lantern oil for this dungeon anyway, so I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do this. Just to get rid of the lantern oil. And then I'm going to equip that, put away the lantern, and scoop some of the soup. You can get as much of the soup as you want. It smells like fish broth. Mmm. So if you drink that, it'll recover two hearts, just as it says. And you can do that as many times as you'd want to. Since I'm kind of low on health, I think I'll... Well, not that low on health. I think I'll just recover myself anyway, just in case. And I'm going to leave that bottle empty, because that soup isn't that useful. And it looks like he's been uh, cutting up that fish while we were away with a giant cleaver. Anyway, you want to go back over here, and you'll see... I know you've seen that. You're gonna pop out. Hello? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's Uko. 
<laughs> I always like to show that because it's she's just so silly. Yay! Always in a dungeon. <laughs> uh huh. Man, she sure gets around. I have to say. <laughs> I mean, we had to use our wolf senses to get here and everything. And look, she's just right in here and somehow got herself stuck in a pot again. You think she'd learn her lesson, but no, no, no. Just way, way too hard for that. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else to look at here, but I'd like to talk to you one more time before I leave. What flavor for soup? Oh, can't decide. Well, it, it's fish broth, I suppose. I guess you could call it fish soup. <laughs> That's what I would call it. It seems kind of obvious. Oh, first puzzle here. You want to get a block onto this switch because it opens that door. I don't think there's really anything else in here. Other otherwise, that door does not stay open. If you get off that switch, that's why you want to block on that thing. Yeah, you get the idea. So there is a ugh, there's a frozen block over there, which we can't do anything about right now. But we can merry-go-round these blocks here, like this. Just push that over there. And this one you want to push over to the opposite corner. You'll notice that they stop when they hit this little this little lip on the ground here, and it's also slippery, so be wary of that. Oh, jig! <laughs> I wanted to grab it, not roll into it. So push that one like that onto there, and no, 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 and put it onto the switch. For some reason, it can roll. I mean, slide over the switch, but it can't slide over these edges. Yeah, I don't get it either. But I probably shouldn't question the game logic, because, you know, I'd like to keep the universe intact, and implosions happen when you question it, so... You, yeah, let's just leave it as is. Um, looks like a dead end, but it's not! Big here. <laughs> and you're gonna come across some more white wolfos over here. Oh, it's gonna give you a little tour of the area. That... That up there is the bedroom. We're looking for the bedroom key, which is similar to the boss key. In fact, it is the boss key of this dungeon. So, yeah, they're just showing you a little flyby view of this place. That cannon is important, so keep that in mind. All right, White Wolf Falls! These guys are much, much easier to take care of when you are in wolf form than uh, in human form because of the fact that... Uh, in human form, you sink into the snow and you become much, much slower. That's kind of a problem since these guys are really, really swift. Come on. I guess I shouldn't call them guys since they're wolves. I guess I should, I should say puppies or something like that. <laughs> Alright, that takes care of that. Dig here, obviously. The chest. It's pretty hard to miss that, actually. <laughs> Yoohoo! It's a snow key! And is there anything else around here? I'm just going to use my wolf senses. Mm, got a red rupee, not to be confused with the restaurant. Uh, yeah, I know it's red ruby. <laughs> I can't open doors in wolf form, can I? <sighs> Opposable thumbs. Just can't go without them. <laughs> Um, oh, 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 these are mini Freezards. They kind of move it towards you slowly well, once you get close enough. Come on, come on. But when you attack them, they go sliding crazy like. <laughs> so they're kind of erratic, you gotta be careful of them. Oh, jeez! And that would have caused a lot of damage if I was in um, that Zora tunic. Just saying. And would you look at that? It's a locked door. <laughs> sure enough, there is use for that key. Uh-oh. Um, am I safe up here? I think, I, I think I'm actually safe up here if I don't... Because there's these... It's this little ledge here and they can't walk themselves up, up ledges like that. I'm just going to test that out here just to see if I'm going to be safe. No, I'm not! No! <laughs> I guess there's no safety in this room whatsoever. Because that's this is the only patch of land that I know of in this room. Just stay near a corner and you should be okay. Because the, uh, they tend to bounce around you then. Because if you're in, in like the center of the room, they just keep bouncing towards you and stuff like that. It's, it's kind of annoying. But that's the point of those enemies. Um, wait, actually... Could I, is it possible that I could climb 
up on no okay so yeah this room is not very safe and it is called the snow peak ruins for a reason this is an abandoned mansion of sorts and it's definitely full of disrepair there's snow and ice it's definitely a place that hasn't been inhabited for a while well aside from those yetis but they don't seem to mind that at all by the way the female yeti is uh yetta and the male yeti is yeto both very friendly as you can see no problems with them whatsoever and we got to get that uh, bedroom key, otherwise we'll never see the mirror shard of this area. Uh, is there this screen flickering for some reason? I don't know, it just looked like this. maybe it was a graphical thing, I don't know. <laughs> I believe I should get my sword out. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh, jeez! These are known as Chilfos, and should have ducked to the side. There we go. They aren't very hard to defeat, as you can see. Uh, they can regenerate if you don't destroy them fast enough. But as you've seen, I did a pretty strong blow there, and yeah, just one shot some. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. And let's open this chest. I believe this is the chest we're looking for that she said the bedroom key was in. But unfortunately, it is not. That would be way too easy. But we do have a pumpkin. That is actually useful to us. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Um, wait, what is what is this door? Oops. Does this lead me back to the sliding block room? At least the higher part of the sliding block room. Um, hmm. Yeah, it does. It leads me over here. What's up here? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be up here just yet, but I'm going up here. <laughs> Push this. No, I can't. So this is a shortcut back, I believe. And I'm able to climb up here anytime, right? I think. Well, hmm, maybe not. <laughs> well, whatever. Let's just go back to the main room. I'm sure I'll come through here again since that other block, I, you know, I have to slide back down to the lower level anyway. And here we are. Wait, I need to. Wait, you don't- oops, you don't select the pumpkin? Really? Uh... Yeah, because you're supposed to give any food that you find in this mansion to him. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> he really wants that pumpkin. There we go. And now the soup is enhanced just a little bit, and I'll show you here. Just select that. Boop! And it is good soup, so it's fish and pumpkin soup now, and it will recover four hearts. Woohoo! And I really should put Uko back in my inventory, because otherwise I might accidentally select her. Alright! Back to Yetta. Yeah, the key wasn't over there, so... No, I, I didn't... <laughs> Uh, I suppose that's okay. There's more, more of this place to explore anyway, you know. Let's check the map here. Now we gotta go over there. That sounds like the place... Sounds like a place that I would love to go to. But... I think I'll do it in the next part. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then.